Hi, Jim Alexander. We're back with another in our Newsmakers series. Seems like we were just in this office a few weeks ago to talk to Brian Wickstrom, the outgoing director of athletics at UC Riverside. Today we're back talking to interim AD Jim Woolridge. What has this been like this, this week since uh, they told you that you were going to take over the post? Well, Jim, it's been really busy, uh, but I characterize it as a good busy. Uh, I'm trying to get to as many people uh, as I can in a short period of time, and, and uh, both uh, in the department, outside the department. Um, evaluate the apartment department, um, look at some short range goals I think we need to, to meet, um, get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's a lot of work, um, but it's been, it's been good. It's been fun. Uh, only been on the job for a couple of days, but I've, uh, I've really enjoyed doing what I'm doing. Now. If you, if you had to state, this is my goal, and given the fact that you're interim, there's, only, there's probably a limit to how much you can do in a short period of time until things become a little more, yeah. un, until you know things, sure. until you know what, what the future's gonna hold. Right. What are your goals for that, that period to try and, try and get things going? Well, first and foremost, uh, the, the student athlete. We have to make sure, which we're doing uh, every day. Everybody that works in this department is doing a terrific job in making sure that we are helping the student athlete. Uh, that's our mission, that's our purpose, that's the number one thing on, on the board. Enhance their experience at UCR. Um, beyond that, it's, it's making sure that our department is on the same page, that we have a, a common vision, common goal in mind, starting with the student athlete. Um, and then it goes beyond that. It goes outside of our walls and uh, it goes to our campus and, and making sure that the campus knows that we want to have a positive impact on this school, on UCR, and that they're, um, you know, I've always said we're kind of the window dressing, you know, to, to the college, to the university, and that we're, we're well, we're doing these things mm. we're doing today. And um, we want to be a positive uh, part of the campus. And then the outreach beyond to our community, to our alum, uh, to our donors, to our friends. Um, ultimately, we want to put a great product out there for them. One that speaks to success and one that speaks to a sense of pride. I live in Riverside. I go to school at UC. I went to school at UC Riverside. Uh, I, I'm a donor for UC Riverside. When you say it, you know, you say it with a sense of pride and because we're doing good things over here. So that, that's a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. But you know what, Jim, that, that's short term. That's, that's long term. Uh, they fit together. And what I told our staff in our first staff, the entire staff coaches meeting is, here's our vision. Let's do it every day. Let's get better every day. And if we do that and we, and we add those days up into weeks and months and years and so forth, uh, we will have accomplished a lot more. What have you changed or what do you plan to change? Or, or is, there, is there anything that, that you need to, to change in terms of the structure of the athletic department I, I or the structure of your job? Yeah, I don't know that, that we need a lot of change right now. I, I think we all know what we need to be doing um, uh, to enhance the program, to do the things I just described to you. Um, there will be s some subtle changes, you know, that, that we'll make. Um, but the big picture is still out there for us. Um, making sure we know every day what that picture is, um, uh, the vision is, um, and keep creating that environment is, is again, I'm being redundant, but mm -hmm. that's, our, that's my mission, that's our job every day. Are there things that you dealt with as a basketball coach where you said I wish we could do this a little differently or I wish we could have more in the way of resources or what have you are there things of that nature that now that you're in this seat you can do that you can say hey we're gonna we're gonna try this we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna find reallocate. out 
we're going to find out because you're exactly right, you know, and, and you could speak to every coach here. Um, you know, everyone has their own idea of what would make it better. I happen to have the opportunity to do this as a, as a whole now. And, and quite frankly, I mean, my job is, is, uh, is to help each program improve. And I think we have some good ideas that we'll, we'll look to present as we go. Um, some might not work, but some will work. And uh, uh, like I say, our, our job is to, is to make this place better, to give our coaches a better chance to be more successful. There are some creative things. We all have our own ideas. There'll be some things I hope I can bring to the table that will help do that. Anything, anything you can share? Anything in particular that you'd want to do? That well, it, it, it's it's mostly outreach things. Um, um, that we've talked about for years. Mm, sure. You know that that just makes sense to me, and. Um, some more things on our campus I think that we can do um, to, to uh, connect this department with our, with our campus. Um, you know, I think we've, we've done some good things. I know we've done a lot of good things. I think we need to build on those things and then, and then add them up and see where we are. Has Dennis Cutts already hit you up for an increase in the basketball budget? I told him, uh, you, you know, it's funny you, you mentioned that. Um, my first act as the athletic director at UCR was to fire the basketball coach. <laughs> so I fired me, I hired him, and told him to get busy and get to work and let's go win some more games. That's it, going to be kind of an interesting deal. And, and again, depending how long you're in this position, the athletic director looking over the basketball coach's shoulder, you're probably a little more entitled because basically that's the program you created. But do you have to kind of step back now and, and, and resist the urge to maybe uh, draw up a play here or there or make oh, a suggestion? Uh, it's, it's in his hands. Uh, it's in the staff down there. Um, They'll, they'll never have to worry about that on my regard. And, and you know, this, this decision, this transition, Jim, um, uh, I made with my eyes open. You know, I, I want to help the department as a whole. And to do that, you know, I have to be engaged in that every day. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that, that's all I am concerned about. I want to help Dennis. Uh, I want to help the program, but I want to help John. I want to help Doug. I want to help Glenn. I want, I want to help everybody uh, so that we can have more success as a department. Now, when we had talked a few weeks ago, you had indicated that athletic administration was kind of out there in, in, in your, your ideas. I mean, th that it was something you were interested in. Um, did you let them know, hey, I'm interested. Did they come to you? Did the chancellor come to you? I mean, how, how did that work? I, I had a conversation with the chancellor, uh, and in that conversation indicated that I would have a strong interest in doing this uh, if she thought it would be in the best interest of the program and the department. So I laid that out during that conversation, and, and uh, as it turned out, here we are today. What is it about administration that makes it appealing? Well, I, I, Jim, it's not just administration. It's where I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, it, it really is. I, and I told the chancellor, I am fully invested in this school. Uh, I want this department to um, have more success so that we can be a, um, a positive part of our university uh, for the students, for our community, and so forth. Um, I've just grown into this, you know, over, over six years here. And um, um, I don't know another way to tell you other than I want to be here. Uh, I want the department to be successful. Um, I think I can see it out in the future uh, clearly. And um, I wanted my, my shot at it. And um, she 
was good enough to, to give me the opportunity. So for that, I'm very thankful. What was that first staff meeting like? Different. Yeah? Really different. Uh, and I told the coaches and staff, I, this feels different. I'm in front of you. I'm standing up in front of you, usually I'm in the back listening. Um, but it, it felt good because I think, you know, we, we went through a little period of time when Brian, you know, announced his, his leaving, that there was a lot of unknown what was going to happen. I think we needed some stability. Uh, I think we needed someone to step into this position that, that uh, um, could, you know, start leading us forward. I think we all felt that way. I know I felt that way. And so it was different. Uh, I do think um, that that we we all felt good about, well, the position is occupied. Uh, I, I gave a clear statement as to what I thought we need to do here in the near future, today in the near future, and let's go to work and go get these things done. So. For me, I, I'm sure for them as well. You know, it was a it was a different feeling having a former coach get up in front of them now as the athletic director. Mm -hmm. But I, I think at the same time, and I hope, you know, everybody felt good about what we what the chancellor decided to do and the direction that we want to take from here. How much does the coaching background help in this new uh, position? It, it's it's so similar, Jim. Um, it's teamwork. Uh, it's playing roles, your role, you know, properly. It's being selfless. Don't be selfish. It's, it's uh, uh, give a great effort every day. Uh, it's it's uh, having a common goal in mind and all of us trying to attain that goal together. It's the same thing. Uh, we just don't use a basketball or football or baseball or softball or what have you. Um, I think I think what I've been through, the you know experience I have as a as a coach, uh, has has really lent itself to this new experience. I can feel it during the day, um, the communication that you have to have with people, all kinds of different people. And, um, so the job I've done is is very similar to doing what I'm doing today. Mm -hmm. And a, another coach can say, well, he's walked in my shoes, and he's walked in my shoes pretty recently. Sure. So that there's maybe a little understanding there, yeah. too. I think there's a, there's a good feeling about that, that, that they have a comfort level and a confidence that, well, Jim's done what, I've done what I'm doing. He knows the challenges and the struggles. He knows what I need. <laughs> he knows what I don't have. Uh, and, and maybe we can work together in that capacity, in this new capacity, with that understanding, and give us a little bit of a head start with this relationship. And that's the other thing, because you know we all know what UCR's athletic budget is, and we all know that this is a this has historically been a department that's been strapped for cash, yeah. and had to sort of make do or, or yeah. you know whatever because of that. Um, how do you, I guess you can't reinvent the wheel. You, you can't say, here's new ways of, of, of getting around those limitations. But are there, are there, are there things that, that well, uh, you can do? What we can do is, is work with what we have. And, and all of us moving in the same direction. It's a team. Mm -hmm. it, it really is a team. We have a bigger team now than I've had. We had 13 players and four coaches. Now we have a whole department. And what we can control is our spirit, our work ethic, our, our integrity, our, our vision, uh, set goals. We, we can control that every day. If we do that and we know where our shortcomings are, um, maybe we can overcome some of that a little bit better. And by doing that, we show some more success. And by having more success, then we gain more partners and more friends and more cons cons constituents and so forth to make this a better department. Mm -hmm. It has to grow. You know, it has to grow. We, we can't stay the same. Nothing stays the same. So we're going to be looking for growth every day. And it starts in this building every day. Um, the C-Center is out there. 
I was just going to ask you about yeah, that. The C Center is out there. It, it's in process. Um, we, we have a, a real buy-in, if you would, from our administration. Um, it can become reality. I know we have some very talented people working on it. And um, uh, I, am, I am confident that this process is moving, well, I know it's moving forward. I know that. I'm not confident. I know that. And um, I'm excited about it. I, I'm excited because I, I think I think once we get that accomplished, um, we're going to see a whole change, a whole whole change uh, of things within this department, in our school, in our community. This is not just a department thing, is it? This is a bigger picture than that. And it's the next thing. It's the next thing for UCR. Chancellor Connolly is herself interim. Yeah. And I would imagine she had, she had said maybe sometime in the next few weeks, sometime in July, she would have a sense of what her future would be. Here. Sure. Two scenarios. If she stays or if someone else comes in. I mean, obviously if she stays would seem to be best case scenario for you guys because of her commitment to, to athletics and commitment to the C Center and whatnot. Talk about that scenario and then talk about what happens if, if they decide to make a change. Well, Jim, really for me, there's only one scenario that really there's just one. Mm -hmm. um, the chancellor has given me this opportunity, and and uh, I accepted it, and wanted it, um, and am passionate about it. All I care about right now is doing the best job I can do today. I'm not going to worry about anything else. I'm going to try to be the best I can for this department, for our chancellor, for UCR. At the end of the day, that's all I can do. And I can control that. I can't control mm -hmm. anything else. Okay. So I'm not worried about it. I, I don't talk about it. Um, I, I'm, I'm all invested in doing what I can do today to make it better. We've talked about outreach in the community, and, and you sort of mentioned that before. Are there, do you have some things in mind to, to maybe expedite that, to maybe to maybe get more of the community on board? Obviously, wins and losses are, are a huge factor, yeah. but are there things you can do? Are there things that you've, you've got in mind or that you're, you're kicking around to? Well, there, there, are, there are a lot of things, you know, from a marketing standpoint. And, and, uh, and you've got to replace Jason List. We, we've got to replace yeah. Jason. And, and, uh, but now, um, and I've told uh, uh, Eric Buskirk um, that that shop, our outreach shop, if you would, mm -hmm. marketing, development, is so critical. It, it, needs, it needs, in my opinion, it needs the athletic director, as Brian did, uh, it needs the athletic director attached to the hip. Um, we talked about getting out to our, our you know, hundred people as fast as we can and, and I have learned this uh, in, in the world of athletics and development and sports and whatnot um, we need to come up with with marketing devices that that you know are fun for people when they come to events and games it's fun it's part of the environment we want to speak to mm -hmm. and develop but by and large, people that become donors and friends and, and, and people that move, help departments move forward, do it because of personal relationships. And, and that's what I think we need to continue to work for more than anything. And that's something that I want to invest my time in, is more personal relationships with people that are good enough to help us 
to decide that they want to help us through these relationships so the department grows. So it's a, there's a lot that goes into development, but not without a personal touch too. Mm. So you're going to be giving lots of speeches probably. If I can, if people listen to me, <laughs> if people have me. And, um, um, you know, and I know, you know, we haven't been void of that. I mean, you know, Brian did it and Stan was out there a lot and so mm -hmm. forth. And, and uh, uh, you know, I'll have my own style like they have their own style. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the bottom line with it all, Jim, is, is, is getting better. Uh, forming more partnerships and and taking care of these student athletes and winning more contests and games. That's a lot of effort by a lot of people. Are you going to miss coaching? Well, I'm going to miss the wins, that feeling you get <laughs> when you win. I'm going to miss, you know, I've, I've had an opportunity to be around some great kids you know, in that capacity. I mean, you're in the trenches with them. Some of that will be missed for sure. I'm not going to miss the loss because those things are piercing. Um, That's the stuff that keeps you up at night. Oh, it just, it just, yeah, I won't miss that. Um, I'm going to understand that part of it better for coaches, you know, because I know how they feel or how they would feel, you know, when it doesn't go right in the game. Uh, and maybe I can help them in that capacity. You know, I've done that for over 30 years. And, and so it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, without some thought. I mean, yeah, I can imagine. I mean, yeah, it's you, like, okay, you've, been, you've given so much of your life to this and now you've got an opportunity to, yeah take another direction and you got to stop and think about it. Yeah. But that said, um, I am very, very excited about this opportunity. I want to try to take advantage of it. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.